Good morning everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video guys is going to be creating my winter tablescape, a non-Christmas one because obviously we are in January now but I did want to do some form of nice tablescape just to take us through into the spring months. So I'm quite excited, I've got an unboxing to do with you, I've got a big old box here from Cowshed Interiors, this big box behind me is also from Cowshed Interiors and this is a little table runner from, I can't remember what the brand is, oh it's from Etsy, I will leave it linked down below in the description box anyway, um, I basically it's where I get all my table runners from, I think that they are just gorgeous. So I'm going to do a little unboxing with you, I've got some faux flowers from Cowshed, I've got a vase from Cowshed and just a couple of other little bits and pieces for the tablescape as well. So I am really looking forward to doing this video. This box has been sitting here for about three days and I've been desperate to get into it, but I've been very good and I have waited to do it with you guys. So I'll start off with the table runner. So I've obviously taken out of the um, original packaging that it came in, but I haven't opened it properly. So it is really beautiful off-white. I would say it's actually more white than what I thought it was going to be. I think it's actually called ivory in the um, listing. So it's, yeah, it's a really, really nice white chiffon -y material table runner. So really lovely. It's going to be perfect to bunch it up, you know how I like to do, and to pop across the table. And I just... I love winter whites, so I think that's going to look really nice, and I think it's going to look really lovely with the other colours that I've got going on. So, yeah, I think that's going to be a really good start. I'm just going to pop it up on the sofa. So, which box shall I get into, guys? I'm going to go with this one, I think. This oh, huge one behind me. It's rather big. This, I think, is going to have some faux flowers in. So let's get into this. So some of the faux flowers are going to be for my market basket, which is just here, which is why I'm pointing over there. But I'll show you it properly um, in a moment. So some of it is going to be for that, and some of it is going to be to go onto... Oh, can't get into it. There we go. <laughs> Packaged up so well. It's going to go onto the table into the new vase. So... Yeah, looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to damage myself with these scissors in a minute. Okay, we're in. I made that much more difficult than it really needed to be. Okay, oh! Wow, look at them all! Gosh, they are beautiful. Okay, that's that box empty. How well packaged is this? Just to protect all of those beautiful faux flowers. My goodness. Wow. Even through the plastic, they look stunning. So let's get into them, shall we? Now, I'm probably not going to know what all of these flowers are, the specific names for them. I just picked them because they were pretty and they were wintry, but uh, you know some of them. You never know. Right. Okay, so so what have we got? So I've got, it's just one of these stems, I think. Gosh, I can't remember what I ordered now. Oh, they're gorgeous though. Okay. So I have got a few of these sort of like pom-pom stems. Hold on, they're just caught together. There we go. So two lots of these pom-pom stems. Let me just see if I can give you a little bit of a close-up of them. But yeah, I think they're just really nice. They've got that really nice kind of dried flower effect to them. So I've got two of those. Now these I think are going to be market basket ones. I have got one of these. Let me just grab my skizzers. Um, oh, they're just lovely. Again, I don't know what they are, but they're beautiful. <laughs> I will leave everything linked again down below in the description box, guys, if you want to pick any up yourself. But they're lovely, and they're going to look so beautiful. Yeah, I've just laid them on top of the other ones, and they are really, really lovely. Now, so these ones I have got quite a few of, and they are a beautiful bronze colour. I'm not sure they're coming up quite as beautiful on camera as they are in real life. They're stunning. They're kind of bronze and gold. And these are going to go in, I think I've got five of these, three, 
four and five so these are to go in the vase on the table and i think that is wow going to look gorgeous really really beautiful and then i have got three one two three four of these kind of burgundy eucalyptus stems and again they're going to look lovely so they can either go in the vase or they will go into the market basket either way it's going to look lovely so let's get into this big old box so this i think is the vase now i did not think the vase was going to be huge so i'm hoping <laughs> that there is just going to be a lot of packaging surrounding it um, rather than the fact that i've ordered one that's far too big but i do like a big vase so yeah we will see these scissors are rubbish there we go okay right let me get into it oh okay 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 it's a smaller box within a big box so that's better because i was slightly worried about the size of that <laughs> jamie's going to be thrilled when he gets home from work and realizes all this recycling that he's going to have but uh from work no he's not at work he's out for breakfast anyway when he gets home he's going to be thrilled with all of this for recycling oh. oh yes i forgot about these so they packaged these up with the vase i'll show you in a second oh i think there were six of those wasn't there five six lovely okay let's get the vase out My goodness it's heavy Heavy, heavy, heavy. Wow. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hello, echo, echo. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I love the colour. That is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy with that. Loving that. Again, that kind of really deep burgundy colour. It's going to go with all of the new bits that I have also bought. And I love the irregular shape of the vase as well. That's going to look just beautiful on the table with my stems inside. Oh, it's going to look lovely. Obviously, more stems than that. That's going to look fabulous. Okay, yes excited about that and then last but not least I have got six of these little decorative figs um, I just really like them again they're going to go with the colour scheme beautifully and I just thought I could dot those around on the table runner as well so yeah oh my goodness I'm so excited this is lovely this is going to look so spectacular very very happy okay let's get this cleared up a little bit let's get the table clear i need to get a couple of bits down from the loft so i've got a couple of little tiny little uh, bulb vases that i got from freddie's flowers a while ago and i actually use them on the autumn tablescape so and i want to use those again because i think they will look really cute with the tablescape this time as well so yeah let's get cleared up and let's get playing around with the tablescape shall we okay i can't get into the loft at the moment i'm going to need jamie's assistance but he will be back for home from breakfast soon so i'll get him to get the bulb um uh, vases out of the loft in the meantime i've just had a little fiddle with the vase and popped the stems in and it looks beautiful i've just literally thrown them in and it looks great as it is so that's brilliant i'm gonna grab my market basket now and pop the um faux flowers in the market basket as well betty is very excited with the new bits as well i'm sorry but look at the mess on the floor it's from the flowers i will hoover that when we're done but yes how lovely do those stems look in that vase i love it betty's bum there i think that's going to look fabulous on the table and i've literally just thrown them in not really done much at all not arranged them just thrown them in as is and i think that looks pretty perfect if i'm honest i really like that a lot 
Okay, so this is where the mask it basket mark mark. Bleh. Okay, so this is where the market basket, there we go, currently is. It's just the table is on the left of me here, so it's just at the end of the table against the wall. I really felt like I needed something here. I really wanted a cabinet of some sort, but when we got the trunk to put upstairs where this was, I've just popped this here, and I think this looks really, really nice. So these are all the stems that I'm going to pop into the basket. You can hear Betty's paws. She's just pottering around on the floor, having a sniff around and everything, can't you, baby girl? Um, so yes, I'm going to have to trim the stems down. I think quite a bit, especially these ones. These are um, the pom pom ones are particularly long. So I'm going to have to either trim them down or just try and bend them into position because um, these things, although they can be cut, because they're wired inside, they are quite awkward to cut but they can be bent into position quite nicely like so i've just bent that in and i actually think you're not going to see it so that might be an option although i'm going to have to bend that up a little bit more but look how long the stem is on it it's so so long but uh, let's just bend that up a little bit more and hopefully you won't see where i've done it so Let's have a little fiddle and just see what we can do. These are much shorter, so I think these will look better. And yeah. Okay, those are the stems in the market basket as it stands. Now, I actually think I'm going to get a few more of these ones these are so beautiful and i think i'm going to get a few more of those just to pad it out a little bit but um yes i think that's a really nice start and i love the colorings in it i think it's just beautiful very wintry very lovely so i think i just need to add some into it actually i might even try and get my um some of my christmas stems because although um they are they've got berries in them i can take those ones out but i have got some teasel stems in with that and i think that would probably look quite good as well so i'm gonna hunt those out of the left loft or actually get jamie to hunt those out of the loft in a moment as well but yeah that looks quite nice in that corner so this is the table as it stands there's nothing really on it just a big old vase of flowers which i do love and i do think that looks nice but you know me i love a tablescape so let's have a little fiddle and see what we can achieve my tablescape is complete guys i will show you properly in a moment we've got the bits and pieces out of the loft that we wanted or jamie did he helped me and i think it looks lovely it's probably one of my favorites i think i say this every time i do one but i'm really really happy with the result so let me know what you think in the comment box down below as well okay and there we have the finished article i love it it's not too much it's quite minimal as jamie just said that vase is just beautiful i'm so pleased with that vase the stems coming out of it i've just popped the um, burgundy eucalyptus stems on the table runner as well these are the little bud vases from freddy's and these are just some old white flowers um faux flowers that i had um in them for the autumn tablescape so yeah i'm so pleased with that and then over in the market basket we've got the other stems that i showed you earlier but i've added in the teasel stems that were from the christmas one and also these white berry stems because i actually think they're just wintry and not necessarily christmasy and i think that has filled that area out quite nicely so there is the finished result Okay then guys, well I'm going to finish the video there. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas. I hope you like my winter tablescape. So if you did, as always, do give the video a big old thumbs up. Bit of hair there. There we go. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will catch you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.